Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new in game Paulo Boncaro. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 12,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Paulo is another card you can get for 200,000 VC. Super excited to try Paulo out and see how good he is at the small forward position in my team. At only 6'10, he's just not going to be as good as Wimby, and honestly, probably not quite as good as Bull Bull or Chet Holmgren either, but that will be something that is worth trying out for sure to see how good he really is um yeah before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 12,000 subscriber mark on the channel we're less than 100 subscribers away honestly think it's very possible that we hit that today or tomorrow like in the next couple days also huge shout out to my boy cabrillo for letting me hop on his account to record this gameplay i really do appreciate that as well one of the community goats on twitter really appreciate my mans for that but paulo in game card 610 99 offense 99 defense 99 stats across the board of course as an in game card and then not only that he has every single hall of fame badge in the game on i mean every single one there's not a single badge that he's missing or a single stat that is not 99 so on paper he is the perfect card which is exactly the way that all of these end game cards are now i will say this he is six foot ten and can play small forward you know who else is six foot ten and can play small forward kevin durant you know who has the exact same stakes as kevin durant paulo boncaro they are the exact same card with different player builds they have the exact same release kf kpj based sneak bay upper on very quick which is admittedly the best release in the game so uh it is i mean we're, i'm not complaining about that by any means if you get the when you get this release down it is the best release in the game because it is the fast release in the game and kpj base is incredible but you have to get the release timing down on it it's really really fast i will say that so that's something that you do have to adjust to a bit with this release is that it is the fastest release in the game as well and if you get a load up it is harder green i will say that that's i kind of almost prefer uh kpj with oscar because that i feel like it's almost a little bit more consistent to green sometimes but i like the kpj base with Sadiq Bay release a lot it's an incredible release and of course we know that not only that he's got the tray fade which is one of the which is the best fade in the game i mean there is a ton to like about this paulo boncaro card he's going to be absolutely elite at the small forward position there's no doubt about it and close to the level of a bull bull or chet holmgren but bull bull and chet holmgren are seven two and seven foot one wimby is seven five that's not a debate wimby's the best card in the game will be for the rest of the year he is way better than this paulo card and then the thing is kd's the exact same card like kd admittedly can play shooting guard therefore should be playing shooting guard but paulo can't play shooting guard is only 610 i say only it's not like he's small but i just i don't know i think that i think this kind of matters i'm not i'm not sure he just eh, i don't know not the biggest fan of the fact that all these in-game cards have the exact same animations i will say that and also i almost feel like paulo should be able to play one of the smaller positions at this point in the year like if they had been a point guard that would be kind of sick now obviously that would have been op and stupid but i feel like at 610 he, he almost is a little bit he's gonna be the fourth best small forward in the game that's what he's gonna be maybe top three maybe if he's better than bull bull but that one's tough man bull bull seven two i know paulo moves better and has a better release and stuff but that size matters so i don't know let's hop into a game see what paulo boncaro can do Look at Paulo baiting the lane. Beautiful stuff by Paulo Boncaro. Gets himself a steal and is going to get himself an open 3-2. Paulo stopping, popping, and I missed it. Oh, my gosh. That is un fortunate that was a wide open three but it's all right this just team is not very good he's got iggy at the one he's got carmelo uh kd but not like one of the best kds Jokic, but not evo uh and the team's kind of kind of mad to be completely honest but throwing it up to paulo we're, a lot, we're we're almost a minute in the game we haven't scored so that's kind of unacceptable got to get into our offense there we go stopping and popping yo can i green i am shooting earlies right now with the fast release in the game what is going on right now I, i'm kind of sucking this is this is not my best start to a game by any means but it's all right we're gonna find our groove we're gonna be just fine this card is literally really convince an in-game kd who is a top three card in the game the only reason that he's not a top three card in the game like kd or is a top four i guess is because he can't play shooting guard so being at the small forward position he's a little bit more limited uh size wise and stuff because of how good the small forward position is that's a crazy shot right there low-key was a nice take too but he winds up missing the shot can we please start playing a little bit better though this has not been my not been a very good start to this game we knocked down the free throw get ourselves some points and we need to start scoring with paulo because i've had a couple open shots with them and i just missed them so that is all my fault pushing the off the floor paulo all the way slashing the rim paulo boncaro throwing it down on nikola Jokic's head just get out of the way please i know you're the mvp in real life but in 2k you can't rock with paulo i almost got the glitchiest steal in race right there too that was that was damn near it good defense good deed Jokic, chill he's what is he is he gonna run a play i don't know why he's sitting here at the top of the key what are you doing like what was the offense there i, I don't understand the strategy but it's all right sizing up here again uh paul boncaro trey fade paulo trey fade i can't shoot today 
I don't know why I can't shoot today, but I cannot shoot today. We are struggling. It's all right, though. Three to nothing lead. Um, we're going to get ourselves another stop here. We're going to win this game easily, but I just wish I could score the ball a little bit easier sometimes. I'm kind of struggling right now. Good defense. Good board by KD. Push the ball off the court. Please don't foul me. Thank you. I just don't want to transition take foul. It stops the break again. Chill. Drag back. We're good. He's like almost sending two bodies. He kind of is sending two bodies. I'm just going to. Oh, that's actually pretty good defense right there. Kind of aided me. Uh, can we get the board with Victor? I get out rebounded by a six foot eight Carmelo Anthony with Victor Wimbanyama. That's kind of crazy. It's all right, though. Play out the corner. Rotate. Swing. Rotate. Good defense. Why is he throwing that pass? Why did that almost work? Straight up here. Good defense, KD. Can I just play a little bit better, though? I'm not playing very well in this game at all. Really kind of struggling with Paula. Making him look bad. And he's an in game card. He's literally in game KD. And yet I'm making him look bad right now. Stopping and going. Paulo to the rim. Lays it in. He's just too powerful for a guy like Carmelo Anthony. Gets downhill and gets the layup to go. And he finally has four points. Now, if we could just start scoring some threes with him, making some shots, greening some shots specifically, that would be nice. Good defense, Paulo. Look at him on ball defense, playing his butt off. And I miss another three. There's no way I'm this bad at this game right now. Like, what is going on right now? I cannot time a jumper to save my life. And like I said, this is one of the tougher jumpers to time, I feel like, at first. But I've been using KD all week. I've gotten used to this jumper. I'm not, I don't struggle to score with KD. I don't struggle to agree with KD. The release is great. I don't know why I'm struggling so much at this gameplay, but it's all right. We're going to get into a groove and we're going to be all right. We're going to get a couple more buckets with him and it's going to be just fine. But the fact of the matter is I'm missing a wide open shot after wide open shot. There's another wide open shot. Finally greened one. There we go. Paulo Boncaro knocks down that catch and shoot. Well, actually four pointer gets it to go and finally is up to eight points on the game. Let's play some more defense here. Blitz him with Bonk with Victor. That's good defense. We're swinging. We're swinging. We're swinging. Good D board me. Let's go, Victor. Great rotations all around. And we swing it up to Paulo. What in the? What the? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're going to get it back to Paulo. We're going to chill. We're going to size up. I messed up my move. I did the wrong dribble. It's all right, though. Good pass down to Victor for an easy standing dunk. Paulo finally getting a cook and eight points and an assist on the game. I meant to do the Francis size to the right, not the left. But since I did it to the left, it didn't trigger to the right, which is kind of annoying. But it is what it is. What are you shooting? Terrible shot selection. Now, he is getting a lot of offensive rebounds for having as small of a lineup as he does. And he's getting offensive rebounds with guys like Carmelo and, and Aldridge against my freaking Yao and Wimby and guys like that. Like, what am I seeing right there? That's all right, though. Good defense. Stay in front. He's got nothing going. Good sidestep defense. And that is another stop. This is an easy win. I just I don't feel like it's my, my most impressive performance with the card, but that is okay. Let's get it into Jokic. Let's see if we can get him a couple more buckets. We've, we've started to get him going a little bit here in the last couple of minutes, so if we could keep that going, that would be nice. Um, escape here. Francis size up. Attack the Ram. Paulo all the way. He's a little tired. He still gets downhill and dunks the ball home. I mean, it's just, what are you going to do when it's somebody with 99 stats across the board? Incredible cigs. Incredible. He's just incredible. He's a top tier card in the game. There's no doubt about that at all. I just wish he could play shooting guard or something, because the small four position has three guys and Wimby obviously but then in Chet and Bull Bull as well who are so good and so big that it almost makes another small forward tough to be elite at times and that's kind of the situation that I feel like we're in with this Paulo card he's easily the fourth best small forward in the game but I don't know if he's worth his price or has a spot in very many teams simply because of the fact that he's only six foot ten great size up there again knocks down another three really got it going towards the end of this video but that's I just is he better than those guys? I don't know. He's close to Chet and Bull Bull. He is. But is he worth his price? Is he worth $50? No, he is not. Like Wimby and KD, to me, they were like at least borderline worth that 50 bucks, especially Wimby, but even KD, just because of the fact they're going to be the best at their positions or right at the top for the rest of the year. Like Wimby's the best card in the game for the rest of the year. Paulo Boncaro, great card, but not not there. 16 points, one assist, two steals, six of 13, three and nine from three. We really got it cooking towards the end of the gameplay. Just struggled at the beginning, but that's okay. Let's hop back to the main menu and let's review the card. Yeah, so in conclusion, Paulo is amazing. I mean, I didn't struggle with him at first, but he's a really, really good card. He's the exact same card as KD. They just have a different player build skin, but they're the same card. He's amazing. He's just not worth picking up, especially for money, or even really for the MT, in my opinion, just because of how stacked the small forward position is with him. Wimby obviously being the best, and the guys like Bobo and Chet being on Paulo's level, if not better, because of their size. So great card would not recommend picking him up personally but if you do like paul if you're a magic fan if you want to use the card he's an elite level card in my team no doubt about it just not a person i personally would spend the money on but that's just me hopefully y'all did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace